Okay, the next project, uh, we have these stairs here. Pulled the carpet off them. There was a cat, hair, and all kinds of stuff, and we're allergic to cats, so had to pull the carpet out. But uh, we want to go ahead and take uh, laminate stairs, laminate, and actually create laminate stairs, so that's the next project. I've got uh, each of these steps, and you can see on uh, the right, we have basically, I mean, talk through the components of the steps. We have the tread, and we've got the riser here. Okay, and the stringers underneath, you can't see those from here, but we'll go underneath and take a look at those in a minute. And uh, right now, trying to figure out how to fix this squeaky stair. You can see, step on here, it's actually pretty good. This one, and here's some of the squeakiness there. So just trying to figure out where the squeaks are and to fix that. So same deal here. And, uh, I tried to fix that before with some liquid nails that worked with some of the steps. Some of the steps, we're going to try some glue blocks. And uh, right now, just basically throwing in a couple nails on the sides here. So, basically, one thing I recommend is to take uh, two nails, one right here, run it in this way at a 45, basically down into there. That runs this way, and you run another one that way. And that way, as this piece rocks, it doesn't it doesn't actually jiggle as much because they both these nail pieces hold tension against each other, prevent each other from rocking. So I'm going to nail in a couple of these nails for here. I did that already up here. So we have it one. Uh, one you want to nail them actually in, into the board. You can see this one right here and the one right there. And then uh, they also say that if you're seeing squeaks in the front, it could be because you're not properly connected to the riser. Uh, into the riser so and essentially that means you have to connect or nail glue these pieces here these pieces here and then on the stringers underneath actually to connect those with glue blocks or to uh, re-glue those two so anyway go ahead and set these real quick and we'll go from there okay I wanted to show you these these nails at the 45 I drove them in a little bit and kind of see how they are but you'll see how they kind of run down into the stringer here on the left side. And so they'll run down through here, into here, and they're running at uh, basically basically in, in opposing directions into the stringer. So they essentially put it under tension. So that won't, uh, whenever it tries to rock, it'll be, rock, it'll be stopping it with one of the nails and prevent it from coming out as easily. Okay, underneath the stairs, I want to kind of show you where the, uh, the stringers and everything meets. So we have the stringer, that's this part here I'm shining on. We've got the riser, and we've got the tread up here. You see these actually stairs are doing a little bit better. They've actually been uh, liquid nails together. You can see some of the residue there. And then you see the riser, but you can see the gaps between the riser and the, uh, and the tread. And so that causes squeaking when they rub against each other. Through the nails kind of pulling it out too so anytime you can kind of lock those down reduce the squeaking one of the recommendations online they were recommending putting lubricant in between uh like the graphite powder lubricant between the uh, riser and the tread to uh lubricate that movement and keep it from making noises so i'm going to head down a little further down underneath here Get to those uh, first stairs. You can start with those and then uh, try and make sure those are tight in. Okay, back underneath the stairs here, and we're back uh, at the very bottom. Those initial steps. So just taking a look at how how these are built here. So we can kind of see. So I guess one way that works better for us here. Kind of see how this is. You see where the riser doesn't really meet the tread. So we need to fix that. So I'm gonna go ahead and nail those uh, pieces together and uh, see if that helps. 